Hi everyone, so I'm back in the park. So before I start, you know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna just uh, put a little bit of a disclaimer, you know, out there because understand that sometimes, you know, I I know that some people don't like watching like, videos of uh, this kind of like surroundings or whatever. You know, it's not really the issue, and I know some people just love to you know put really negative remarks out there saying, you know, I'm 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 just I don't want to see anything about someone. Uh, sorting out his or her saw as well, you know, walking. You know what? I didn't ask you to comment on that. Uh, if you want to have a space to, you know, unload your your rage, your anger, your hatred, your misandry or whatever, you know, go somewhere else because, you know, YouTube will remove those remarks anyway, so. Um, okay, so. Today, um, it's actually like Wednesday as, I mean, for most people, I think at least my corner here of the world, so. And uh, there are a few days, we are just a few days away from Good Friday, so... You know, one thing is I've been talking a lot about, you know, living unapo unapologetically for... Not just, not just for yourself or God, whatever, and, you know, and for God, for your beliefs, basically living unapologetically for yourself. And this is very important, especially for the... <coughs> the whole thing about uh, being authentic, being real okay and you don't have to be uh, like a terrible jerk or bitch or whatever person ter you don't have to be a terrible terrible or disagreeable person just to you know live your set live your most authentic life i know there are some people who are so angry like they are I, I actually had no choice but to kind of like distance myself from some people over the years and over time when i realized some of these people you know they when they go onto youtube or other channels all that they are doing it's basically saying, you know, spawning negative stuff. Uh, for example, they say that, oh, male victims of uh, female uh, and male narcissists des deserve it. I don't feel sympathy, blah, blah, blah. You know what? This is not, them. this is themselves speaking, okay? This is really their self-righteousness, their whole sense of uh, misandry speaking. We have a, you know, this community of people out there who are not healed, okay? They, they blame you on everyone else, but they don't want to take responsibility. They don't want to actually acknowledge that, you know, even after being hurt, they have the responsibility to, to, to heal themselves and to recover. They go around blaming everyone else, okay? But ex except look at themselves, okay? And then you know that one, one thing is that when you start saying, stop being so, you know, uh, so radical and stop being just, just try to stop doing name calling and call everyone misogynist they will start calling you names they will say that you are a narcissist or whatever okay this is really not helping anyone okay because uh, there's a community of like really just male and female victims and survivors of abuse okay not just narcissistic abuse and trying to just simply label one race uh, one one race, one group, one gender, one sex is very, very myopic, okay? It is very extremely negative, toxic, and as narcissistic as it gets, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being apologetic about that, okay? So, today I'm just going to talk about something else. I'm, uh, I've been, like, you know, I've been trying to, like, put it out there because, I mean, in the last few weeks, Last few months, as you all know, I've been actually dealing with uh, the my own health issues, like my PTSD-related health issues, like including the food aversion, which I had for quite a while. And uh, I'm not really regular in my medication, although I should, uh, because you know the one thing is I I also realize that part of it is also psychosomatic. Because when I get stressed, when I'm a lot of anxiety, it affects my eating patterns. And uh, like for, for example, today I haven't had any real um, I mean, I just finished my breakfast, can't think about it. Um, yeah, I guess I had to actually rush off in the middle of the morning just to go for a therapy session just with uh, the psychologist to sort through certain things. Okay, but I, I just put it out there just now um, in front of the you know, psychologist. I was telling her about my encounters with like, you know, like how this PTSD thing was not being understood by uh, Christians, a lot of Christians don't understand it, okay? There's this whole idea that uh, if you are going through some health issue, whatever, you know, you must, or some emotional issue, that's because you're not faithful, 
you are therefore being punished by God or maybe just you deserve it basically okay and then you know I told I told a Catholic friend um, she was actually the friend who brought me to uh, uh, my first one of my first few churches actually in faith community faith community Baptist yeah um, which is actually a Baptist church obviously from name but it was uh, somewhat charismatic but uh, and she was the first friend who brought me there before she actually uh, later on like, you know she got married and converted to become a Catholic because of husband so she told me when I told her about these issues and all these struggles she said you know what I think you should be careful about your friends those who you whom you share your not just friends but acquaintance or whoever you share your struggles with because sometimes uh, you know it's just you know people don't understand and they don't they, they, they can't be bothered okay it's like if it doesn't if it doesn't serve me I don't I don't want to like you know um, help you that's what they think okay and she said you know what you can't at the same time, she said, you can't really just, I mean, yeah, I mean, voting them whatever aside, you know, the thing is, they have a different version, of, different version, of different idea of God. It's a very petty idea of God, that God is out to punish you, out to get you, basically. Uh, this is a very crazy thing, but you know that I know that some people have this idea of God himself, like the, the idea that, you know, if you don't do this thing, if you don't do that thing, uh, God is going to come after you and uh, he's going to punish you and maybe because you're suffering from something uh, which is not something in which you wanted could be a health issue could be a uh, bad situation like you know uh, some loss of job whatever or, or a breakup abuse whatever they will say oh you know what because you brought it upon yourself uh, again that is it goes back to what she was saying about the, the petty idea of God okay some people have very very petty ideas of God that the God is a very, you know, punishing God. He's out to punish everyone simply because he's angry. Uh, and of course, you have the other side, which is like the God who is uh, always okay everything. Even if you do the worst of things, he's okay. So everyone is going to go to heaven. Um, and so why am I talking about these two versions, or these two extreme versions? You know, the hyper grace versus the very angry version. Uh, because actually, basically, you know what? They might seem to be on different ends of the spectrum, but they are both extremist versions of God. And I'm talking about this whole thing about being unapologetic. You know the thing is this, both versions are not real, okay? They are, they are really, really false versions of God. And that also applies in the end. It reflects in a way we have our faith. And it's like, um, you know, the, the idea of your your faith, okay? For example, I'm, I was talking with a friend about uh, like the real the, I mean not just that friend but even the psychologists about you know like scammers we have scammers like spiritual narcissists uh, I've been trying to talk a lot about that uh, you know spiritual narcissism is like it, it pervades even in churches okay and it's not just like individuals who are on the level of the lay the layman level but even the pastors and uh, I think that was the real reason why I decided I couldn't I couldn't stay on because I couldn't be any more of a even of an evangelical after having been an evangelical for over let's say maybe thirty years. So I that's it that's it you know that's it I had now you know I could leave the faith but I didn't want to leave the faith and I realized that whole thing with this with church is this the pastors that you see not not all but quite a lot of them. The pastors that you see in church talking about God are the very same people who are actually using God, manip manipulating discourses of God to manipulate you, yeah, to use you. What do they do? They ask. They don't. Ask, yeah, they ask you for money. They tell. No, they don't ask you for money. They tell you to tithe to give ten percent of your salary. When well, contextually, the ten percent wasn't even actually money. It was actually referring to things like you know. Uh, animal offerings, goats, uh, cows, sheep, uh, doves, pigeons. So they basically I was saying, no, so now, now these pastors are asking about 10%. What do you want to give, give them for the time? Okay, let me bring a goat or cow to, to church. We'll see how they react. Then they will say, oh, no, 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 but I say money, for time. No, it's the Bible in the Old Testament is actually uh, all these animals. What do you want? And... <laughs> I might see me joking about it, but the, the, the truth is this, these pastors are not, the majority of them are not really preaching about, you know, the faith, what the faith is about, about turning to God, uh, asking God to give you the, 
with the means to improve your life, you know, to break free of certain things that actually leave you in bondage, yeah, like things like sin, you know, I, I came from that kind of background in my youth where I heard a lot of that, As a, and, and I mean, I was, I, I mean, I wasn't a Catholic, but I, I grew up hearing a lot about that because I was from a Catholic school and, and things like that always get, you know, drum to us, you know, from everything, when you're hearing the Lord's Prayer, um, and even Hail Mary, the, everything, I have nothing against Catholics, and I'm actually very thankful for that kind of uh, background, regardless of what people say, you know, like, oh, like, Catholics are not Christian, blah, 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 I hate religion, whatever, you know, I'm very thankful for them, because uh, without that, I wouldn't have known what exactly was actually also wrong, because, you know, think about it this way, now a lot of, a lot of pastors and a lot of their uh, followers, they are, it's really not really church anymore. It's a lot like some, I don't know, it's like a celebrity cult, or if it's not a celebrity cult, it's like a cult belonging. You have people who go to church and they talk about how, you know, like they all that they're talking about is how uh, God is good because God gave us a, how many, a good job or whatever. But what about those people who need help? Have they ever thought about that, that there's such people who really, really need help? Um, you know when my friend Cheryl passed away from brain cancer, it was like that was uh, one of my friends. Yeah, she passed away in 2021. That was just right in the you know the the thick of this pandemic. Okay, with the and 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 that 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 whole realization. You know, after five years of remission, the whole thing came back with a lot of uh, it was more aggressive than than ever. Then it's like from stage three became stage four, and you know the fact that. All these, you know, all these charismatic church pastors talk about, you know, healing, well, whatever. It was so disgusting when I heard it, okay? So, the thing is this. These pastors are not telling you the truth, okay? Um, their followers aren't telling you the truth either. The truth is, you know, God is above all this, okay? And if you, if you were to really, really believe in God, you know, and then I'm, I, I'm very, 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 very authentically honest to say, you know, I'm a Christian, you know, I, I have been a Christian for many years. There's like times when I don't do things which are really Christian. I, I fall into things which are, I mean, probably sin. Um, and, you know, there are people who like, such as those abusers and narcissists in my life, they will say, they go to hell, whatever, they use religion against me. Or even, even if they don't use religion against me, they, they, they lie about me and everything. But I know one thing though, when you do something wrong, you make amends for it, okay? You go back to God. And it's not something that I think our world cares about anyway anymore. But to return to what I was saying, you know this whole thing about the pastors? The pastors are not telling you the truth, okay? Their followers are not telling you the truth either. You know why? It's the blind eating the blind. When someone is not, bl is not even saved, the person is a blind, the pastor is blinded by his own lies. And they believe, they believe in their own lives. How much more will the, their congregation who follows them, who worships them, okay? How much more would they question this, this lies? They won't, okay? So, you know, this is something that I came, I just came to realize and I was, you know, like realizing, oh, you know, I'm actually going back to visit to church on Friday. Uh, I'm actually going to, for this uh, Western Rite, uh, Orthodox Church is a very small parish, so um, it's actually something that I found out that it was actually quite near my home and I'll probably take about one hour just to, you know, by public transit and everything. And then I realized, you know what? Uh, I I really want to just go back to to my roots and everything. I don't really care people say, oh, this religious thing is a, is a bullshit, whatever. You know what? To each his own, okay? Uh, don't put your negative comments about whatever faith and you know I, 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 I see that awful lot as well you know like sometimes uh, there was this whole uh, spat online uh, with some random youtuber calling um, this particular person Dave of Narcology Unscripted calling him a religious loony but uh, saying that oh, because he reminds me of my father who was also a religious loony who was a narcissist but I was like Damn, you don't even know the person personally. You're just listening to someone else's uh, claim, someone else's accusation of him being a narcissist. And the person, she doesn't even know that he's 
doesn't know him personally. She's just going by vibes and everything. Do you know what? This is called you can you can in a legal system this can be pursued as defamation. Okay? If they have the right, they can they can go by international law or whatever. Uh, and down here in Singapore, like you have this uh defamation laws, anti-defamation laws. If you are going to you know attack someone, call someone, all these things, the person has the right to go after you, okay? Especially if it's proven untrue. And I think that we should be stopping this, okay? Because this this online YouTubers are basically projecting their own issues, okay? Their own issues with religion, their own issues with God. You're angry, you're angry? That is your issue, you know, because you are always angry. You're not healed, okay? So, anyway, uh, I have to go back uh, right now. I just on my it's a very short walk and uh, short rent, but I have to go back. And uh, but I just hope everyone has a good, uh, a good, good Friday, <laughs> okay? This coming Friday and uh, Easter for those who are on their so-called you know fast, the Lenten fast, L E N T Lenten fast. Um, it's actually like Catholics and. Uh, some orthodox too, I mean most orthodox are actually fasting. Uh, I'm not fasting because of health reasons, so uh, yeah, but uh, I mean even then, you know, fasting is uh, not necessarily meaning like skipping food. That's not the way we do it as Christians. We, what we do is to, you know, uh, refrain from certain meat, certain foods to actually try to control, practice self-discipline and everything. So uh, yeah, but I'm not fasting because of health reasons, so, but either way, I hope everyone has a good Friday and uh, yeah, I'm back to get my maybe lunch or something just before I go off to work. Okay, have a good one everyone. Bye bye.